Soundstripe. To keep this whale of a vehicle afloat, you get BF Goodrich Baja Champion 37 inch tires standard that come with beadlock rims that are matte black finished. Also, behind those really meaty BF Goodrich tires, you get standard Fox Baja racing shocks, which are really nice, and you can also see them from the outside so you can see how cool this truck is and really show off how much you paid for it. Speaking of payment, I'll talk about price. New from factory, this truck will start at around $100,000 to $110,000. And that just shows that people will pay that much money for something this good. When it's this well executed, they'll do anything for it. Now moving on to the hood of the Ford Raptor R, you'll be able to see well, nothing because it's about four and a half, five feet off the ground. I'm gonna have to send some other videos into the video to show you the inside of this engine bay. But anyway, this has a supercharged V8 taken straight out of the Shelby GT500 and put in here. This one's tuned more for torque as it is down on a bit of horsepower with 700 exactly. This also has 640 pound feet of torque, which will altogether propel it to zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds which is supercar territory and as you can see under the hood it's not just for power it's also for looks everything in here is put together really nice the battery is wide open the raptor supercharger is wide open the air intake is right in your face and they make this place a really nice place to look also have a listen to the insane supercharger whine when you rev it to make a good first appearance and with this thing and its massive engine it does just that but also up front you get these huge LED headlights Baja inspired lights down here for off-roading a huge fender flare a cool R in the grill right here to signify that it is the V8 version of the Raptor and some cool tow hooks under here I really don't know why they put them in there though because if you get this thing stuck then you are an idiot if you get a step ladder you can go up top to see the top of the hood where there's Raptor on a nice hood bulge. It is plastic, but we don't need to talk about that. It looks really cool. There's another red R at the end of the Raptor to signify again that this is a V8 variant. But otherwise, alongside, you get some fake vents, but they do look really nice and they tie in with the wide fender flare and it just gives the space some functionality. Moving on now to the interior of the Raptor R, you're greeted by a very cool steering wheel. It is so nice to touch and it's huge. It has a red stripe at the top for the center of it. And you get these awesome paddle shifters that feel incredible. They're so cool, they're blacked out. Your bottom of your steering wheel says Raptor and you get some nice red accents also along the dashboard and the sides of the doors, there's red stitching. Moving on to the seats. They don't look like it, but they are Recaro seats. They are meant to keep you in position on the racetrack or in the middle of absolutely nowhere in a desert where this truck belongs. They say Raptor in the blue leather in Alcantara with another red R to signify the V8. If you press this button right here, the shifter will fold down and then you can lift up the rear end of the center armrest to fold it out and you get a whole workspace for anything you want to do. If you want to bring your laptop here, or if you want to eat a big Subway sandwich while you're off-roading, you can do that too. And then you can just press that button, lift it back up, and put everything back the way it was. Although you don't have a digital rear view mirror, you do have a really nice sound system. It's a Bang & Olufsen sound system, just like most of the other F-150s out there. You get speakers in your doors, you get one on your dash, 
you get some in your roof as well as in your headrest which is pretty nice and it sounds pretty good too take a listen 21 telling you in a block twice like it ain't nowhere to park moving along to the side of the raptor r i want to talk about the one small thing on this massive truck and that is ironically the fuel filler cap because this truck gets 10 to 15 miles per gallon and for those numbers this thing should be about the size of a black hole moving around to the rear of the f-150 raptor r you get huge exhaust pipes just dual not quad like some other souped up pickup trucks unlike up front you get black tow hooks back here and the bed is pretty neat you get ford obviously across the back in another raptor r with a red r badge in there if you open the bed you'll notice it is abnormally high off the ground as is everything else with this truck but if you press this button right here a step pops out and if you pull this right here a handle comes out of nowhere for easy access into the bed this makes a big difference and then you can get into the bed of your ford raptor r that about wraps it up for the review of the behemoth monstrous insane in every way ford raptor r this i think is better than the trx in many ways and it is an incredible truck and an incredible feat of engineering i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe as always and also check out flood ford of east greenwich rhode island on their website the link is in the description of this video Thank you so much to them for allowing me to film this car. This car did just sell, like I said, but they have more cars like this coming in. And if you want a good deal on a car like this, make sure to check them out. But thanks for watching again. See ya. Ugh.